What's the first thing you'd buy if you won the lottery? If you're like any of the lottery winners we're going to talk about today, you might say a fancy car, a waterfront mansion, or gold jewelry. These new millionaires took off on luxurious vacations and splurged on shopping sprees. They invested in sports teams and treated themselves to plastic surgery. Whether it's purchasing a tricked-out Hummer or financing a TV show about women's wrestling, this is how lottery winners have spent their millions. Michael Carroll Michael Carroll was only 19 when he won the National Lottery jackpot back in 2002. His prize was 9.7 million pounds, about 14 million US dollars. He immediately started splurging on champagne and jewelry. He took photos of himself popping bottles in hot tubs while wearing gold chains and diamond rings. He bought a $585,000 mansion in Norfolk and then spent over $275,000 upgrading it with a swimming pool and jacuzzi. It became the prime location for wild parties. Carol spent almost $75,000 on a single party once a month. He bought souped-up luxury vehicles, which he used in demolition derbies at his mansion, including a Mercedes van with Carol's nickname, King of Chavs, proudly displayed on its side. The young millionaire took off on expensive vacations. He bought a holiday home in Costa del Sol, Spain, and decorated it with more than 200 daggers and swords that he bought online. He put about $1.4 million of his prize money into a fund for his favorite soccer team, the Rangers Football Club. Every month, a portion of the profits went to the team. His advisor convinced him to create an investment bond, so he put over $5 million away for that. A few years later, he dipped into the fund and started using the last of his money. Carol gave $1.3 million each to his mom, aunt, and one of his sisters. He ended up paying almost $2 million to his ex-wife in their divorce settlement. At this point, he was almost broke. He sold his destroyed mansion for only a little over $200,000 and now works as a coal man in Scotland. He says he doesn't regret using his millions to enjoy some of the best years of his life. Lara and Roger Griffiths the first big purchase Lara and Roger Griffiths made after winning 1.8 million pounds, about 3 million US dollars, in 2006 was a 1.2 million dollar Yorkshire stone mansion. They parked their new cars out front, Roger's $40,000 Porsche convertible and Lara's Lexus 4x4, and enrolled their two kids in a private school that cost more than $15,000 a year. At one point, Interest on their winnings was making them over $500 a day. With lots of money to spare, Roger spent $40,000 reuniting his old student band and making a record. It ended up selling just 600 copies. The couple gave up work to travel. They took off on five-star holidays to New York, Monaco, and Dubai, traveling business class every time. Lara splurged on handbags and designer clothes while Roger had a collection of $300 a pair true religion jeans and $800 suits. The couple decided to put some of their winnings into their own business. They spent more than $300,000 setting up a beauty salon called the Spa Lounge. Unfortunately, it didn't do so well and they ended up losing more than $700,000 before selling their business. The Griffiths are no longer married or millionaires but they did spend years enjoying the best things money can buy. Jonathan Vargas In 2008, 19-year-old Jonathan Vargas won $35.3 million in the United States Powerball Lottery. He chose to take a lump sum of that money and received $17.3 million. The first things Vargas did with the money was start trust funds for his siblings and buy his parents a new car and house. But this former construction worker had big dreams, and they all had to do with women's wrestling. Vargas teamed up with professional wrestling manager Jimmy Hart and former wrestling and TV producer Johnny Caffarella to create Wrestlelicious. 
A trailer was released in 2009, and by 2010, the sketch comedy style show about female wrestlers was on air. It's estimated that Vargas spent at least $500,000 of his winnings on the first season of the show, though some reports say he used millions from his fortune to get it started. He appeared occasionally as JV Rich and would show off his opulent mansion in a segment called JV's Crib. The show didn't do as well as he'd hoped and only aired for one season. Vargas hasn't really been heard from since, but it's reported he made some other bad investments and ended up going broke. Sharon Tirabassi Ontario native Sharon Tirabassi went all out on a big house, fancy cars, and designer clothes in 2004 when she won 10.5 million Canadian dollars in the Lotto Super 7. That's a little over 8 million US dollars. Her new $400,000 home was impossible to miss. Her bright yellow Hummer and Dodge Charger were parked out front, not to mention her eye-catching Mustang and more than $200,000 tricked-out Cadillac Escalade. This behemoth was her pride and joy. Its license plate read Baby Fat after one of her favorite designers. It was equipped with turntables and sound mixers that prompted many neighborhood noise complaints. Tirabasi was also a fan of all-expense-paid vacations. She went to California, Florida, Las Vegas, Cancun, and the Caribbean, lounging on beaches all over the world. She gave away some of her fortune, $800,000 to her parents, and $1.4 million divided between her four siblings. She lent money to friends to pay their rent and kickstart their businesses. She used thousands to bail friends out of jail. She bought buildings in Hamilton and would rent them out cheaply to low-income families. When she had only $600,000 remaining, Tirabasi decided the fun was over. She went back to her regular life and got a job. Now the rest of her winnings are tucked away safely in a trust fund for her children. Jane Park In 2013, at age 17, Jane Park became one of the youngest lottery winners ever when she took home the 1 million pound Euro Millions jackpot equivalent to about 1.5 million US dollars. Born and raised in Edinburgh, she went from a $12 an hour temp job and living with her mom to owning a three-bedroom house with a huge swimming pool. She quit her job immediately after winning and booked a two-month vacation at an island resort in Magaluf, Spain. Once back home, she bought a chihuahua and an entire closet full of Louboutins. Then she spent $75,000 on plastic surgery, including a Brazilian butt lift, and countless amounts on makeup and designer clothes. She treated herself to multiple luxury vehicles, including a $25,000 Volkswagen Beetle and a $27,000 Range Rover, along with a $37,000 BMW. She even tried to buy love. She launched a website taking applications from men who she told she would impress with her $70,000 date fund. She received thousands of applications. She's still using her reputation to make money today, even though she's blown through most of her original winnings. Sharif Gurgis At 23, Sharif Gurgis became one of the luckiest men in the world when he won a $23.6 million lottery jackpot. The former cinema worker decided he wanted to make his money work for him, so he bought a pub and a nightclub called Crush in Perth, Australia. He spent more than $1.3 million transforming the pub into his dream business. Gurgis kept buying big. He spent $880,000 on an 80-foot-long luxury charter yacht called the Moonlight Express. He bought land with waterfront views in Watermans and Joondalup, where his nightclub was located. To make sure he did things right, Gurgis enlisted the help of an experienced businessman. But after losing $1 million on his nightclub, he realized that he might have received some bad advice. By 2012, he was down to his last $5 million. He decided to sue his financial advisor, who was ordered in court to pay him back $2 million though Gurgis claims that nowhere near makes up for all the money he lost. John McGuinness 
John McGuinness was living with his parents and earning $200 a week before he won 10 million pounds in 1997, equivalent to 16 million US dollars at the time. He shared his wealth almost instantly, giving $4.8 million to his family and $1.2 million to his now ex-wife. That doesn't include the over $200,000 he spent buying jewelry for her. He splurged on an $800,000 family home and an $800,000 seafront apartment in Mallorca, Spain. He shelled out $320,000 to make his wedding as extravagant as possible and topped it all off with a Caribbean cruise. He'd have an average of six cars parked in his driveway at once. Bentleys, Mercedes, Jaguars, BMWs, and his favorite, a $160,000 Ferrari Medina Spider. He reportedly spent $800,000 on luxury vehicles alone. He wasn't afraid of treating himself with his millions. He was a fan of Rolex watches and took five-star ski trips. He traveled the world in first class. He also made sure to give to charity, donating about $800,000 in total. McGuinness decided to invest some of his money in soccer, handing over $6.4 million to the Livingston Football Club. Since he guaranteed his fortune against the club's loans, he ended up liable for their debt and owing them over $2 million. From there, McGuinness's fortune seemed to dwindle even more. Whether or not he's still in debt is unknown, but McGuinness is no longer a millionaire. Ryan McGee Just days after he won 6.4 million pounds, about 10 million US dollars, in the Euro Millions Lottery, Ryan McGee rewarded himself with a $200,000 red Ferrari 458 Italia. He worked hard for that prize, visiting 11 different shops and buying a ticket from each in his quest to become a millionaire. His winnings earned him a spot on the Sunday Times Top 100 Rich List for Young People in 2008, and he played right into the reputation by buying a $600,000 luxury house with five bedrooms and a champagne bar. The home featured an indoor pool and a sauna, not to mention a 10-person hot tub. He went on expensive holidays around the world, but his dream came to a crashing halt around the time he got into an accident in his beloved Ferrari. He sold the car and his house after some business deals went south. He's since been spotted driving a simple Ford Focus. Maybe money really doesn't buy happiness, but these millionaires were certainly living the dream for a little while. Which of their expensive purchases is the most impressive? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Insane Luxury for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.